Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to jump straight into this video. So here I have a 13 by 4, 30 inch lace frontal wig from Asteria here. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to get jet black. So you want to go ahead and grab some freeze blast spray and coat the inside, blow dry it, let it get dry and hard. And then you're going to go on to your dyeing step. So here I'm using Royal Navy and jet black. I forgot where I learned this trick from, but I did see it on YouTube. Um, well, you guys could let me know who you seen it with first. I want to give my credits to them. But yes, so you want to go ahead and get royal navy and jet black and you want to get a bucket of hot water or warm water it's okay you don't have to be burning hot because it's going to be like really hard for you to like maneuver around hot water because it is going to burn you want to go ahead and empty both bottles of dye into the water and mix it all the way out so that there's no clumps left you want to mix up everything so you're going to see why i showed you guys um the freeze blast spray trick because that like i said in, in like previous videos that protects the lace so that the dye does not stay in the lace because once the dye stains the lace you're done you're done all right your lace is done So now it's time to dye the hair. You want to start with the ends of the hair and then take your time and dip and then submerge it all into the dye at one time. Don't be shy because you the dye will only catch certain parts of the hair and it will be botchy. So you don't want that. Just dump everything in there and then get like a, a pointed brush. You know, a little, I call it a wig brush. Get a wig brush and dip and brush and dip and brush throughout the whole entire wig. This is going to evenly spread the dye all in and through the wig. If you do not do this step, you are going to have some brown parts in your wig. It will not look completely jet black. So do not forget to dip and brush. Dip and brush. So you want to go ahead and leave everything submerged into the dye for five minutes. And then you go ahead and rinse everything out. And then you can proceed with your bleaching and plucking. And this is why you always supposed to coat your lace with freeze blast spray before you dye it. Because look at that. Not a stain of dye. And my knots are still perfect. So I went ahead and I bleached and I plucked it after. And here are the results. Look, not one stain. That's after I bleached and plucked it. And look how beautiful and nicely jet black my wig is like tell me i ate i definitely ate that and y'all know it and that's how you do jet black so now on to the install So one thing I like about this wig is that 
it's really 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 full i believe this was 200 density and it was super full it was really nice i love that about it and the lace like the lace was super stretchy and mad thin like i love when my lace is thin and then the knots the knots on it were super fine like always when you get in a wig make sure the description states that they have super fine knots because it just makes the install much more flawless and everything just melts way more better like i this this wig was really nice i'm never gonna lie shout out to Asteria here once again they did their thing with look, look at it I know you see that. Look at that. That is some good HD lace, by the way. Yes, this is HD lace. This was this wig was amazing. I love that about it. If you're looking for a full wig, five stars. If you're looking for good lace, five stars. And if you're looking for nice quality hair, five stars for Asteria hair. I would get this hair. The link to this hair will be in my description box down below. Now for this step, you can use any holding spray that you prefer, that you like, to melt your lace. And you want to go ahead and tie down an elastic band and leave it on for about 20 minutes. And this is what it's going to look like. Nothing but skin. Nothing but skin. So now I'm going in with my Erica J Wax Stick. My favorite wax stick on the market right now. It definitely tames all my flyaways and keeps my hair super flat. And I'm going in with my hot comb and I'm going to begin the baby hair process so now i'm just flattening all the hair out my way i'm making sure my part is straight don't worry about that big old gap in the front we're gonna fix that all right so now i'm going to be parting out my sections for my baby hairs if you like these baby hairs you're going to go ahead and pay very close attention to see how i got them because it's better it's better like it's easier watched than said like i can't really describe it but the most i can say here is you want to part a nice little c shape it doesn't have to be perfect it could be crooked it could be straight however you prefer and then you want to take it up from there. So if you do it, if you're trying to aim for these babies that you've seen in my thumbnail, you want to part a nice C shape starting from right above, like like line it up with your with the front of your eyebrow to the tail of your brow. So you want to part out that section for baby hair, and then so on and so on. So you want to make sure when you're shaving the baby hairs down, you shave them like how I'm doing it, like in a slanted cut. You want to make sure like the beginning of the baby hairs are short and then the middle is like a little short and then the ends are just like a slightly long, like, if you, like a small, medium, large thing. But like you want to just shave them down so that the front pieces are shorter than the bottom pieces. But don't make the bottom pieces too, too long, but you need them long enough so that when you swirl in them, when you put in your gel on, that they flip and you know all that nice stuff they curl upwards nicely and the baby hair swirls into the rest of the hair neatly okay so then you want to go in with your little tiny flat iron and flip these bad boys up curl them upwards i mean you can curl them downwards if you want to but i try i think i try curling them downwards i, I prefer curling them i prefer curling them upwards so you want to curl them upwards and then curl the whiskers downwards and now here we go with the baby hairs i'm going in with some um 
Slick and Slay Jam. This is my favorite jam. I always use this. You guys seen it in my previous videos. Slick and Slay by She Is Bomb. Because she is definitely bomb. And I'm just going ahead and I'm swoopty doopty dooped in. And curling up my little baby hers. With the um with the gel. And I'm flipping them and whipping them and blipping them. And yeah, just watch. And you're going to be able to do this too. I am dramatic. I like dramatic edges. I like dramatic length nails. I like dramatic length nail sets. I like dramatic hair lengths. So I like dramatic baby hairs. If you do not like dramatic stuff and dramatic baby hairs, you do not have to follow this step. You can just proceed and do your own baby hair. Anything that you like is what suits you. And if it suits you, then that's good for you. But this is what suits me, so this is good for me. Then you want to go ahead and spray it with your favorite holding spray. And you're set. You're all set. You want to go ahead, do your finishing touches, and then you know you, you're good to go. So this last part of the film was supposed to be like a transition film where I flat iron and then show you the end results. But unfortunately, that clip got deleted of me showing you guys the real length. So all I got was some little snaps and, you know, like some little cute stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, Please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. And I did change the hairstyle. In the end, you're going to see the actual length. This hair was super long. It was like 33, 34 inches, I'm telling you. But yes, I love this hair. This hair, I give it five stars. I hope you guys like this video. I will see you guys real soon. Peace.